welcome to part two of the learn to knit course in this video i'm going to show you the knit stitch so in the last video in part one i showed you the slip knot and how to cast on in this video it's going to be how to do the knit stitch now, i was thinking about how to do this because um, i wanted to show you about fixing mistakes as well so i was going to show you how to do the knit stitch and then how to fix mistakes but what I found when I go onto the big old world wide web, that there are mistakes out there that never even crossed my mind. <laughs> and then suddenly I'm like, I mean, not in knitting, I just mean in life. So, and it, so I'm suddenly thinking, well, I've never done that. I just mean in day to day life, not in knitting. And then you start thinking about it, like, oh, that happens to other people. And um, then do I start making those same mistakes? <laughs> Yes, yeah, I've been thinking about it a lot. So what I thought I'd do is I'd tell you how to do the knit stitch here. And then in another video, I'm going to look at mistakes. So I will label them. So if you find you're making those mistakes, then you can click on one of those videos. Now, um, the other thing is, don't be afraid to make mistakes. The great thing about knitting is it doesn't matter. Just relax, take your time. If you make a mistake, take it back, okay? So that's why I just want to let you know that we're going to learn how to do the knitting stitch. But sometimes you have to make the mistakes to then do it right. So I'm going to free you up from that. Um, and the other thing about doing these videos is, so I've taught workshops, I've taught people for over 20 years, and I tailor, very much tailor, what I'm going to say to someone by what they say back to me can't do that here so it becomes tricky sometimes in other times you can just swipe me <laughs> swipe me off uh, or just fast forward me um can't necessarily do that in real life okay so that's all the waffle um there is a close-up um there's not all the waffle i will continue waffling um <laughs> There is a close-up of how to do the knit stitch, so you don't have to listen to me chat through it. You can just go and look at the close-up. Now, depending where you're viewing this, um, I'll put a link in the comments, but I can't do that on Instagram. So if you're watching on Instagram, you might have to click onto my YouTube page, or I'm going to put these on a blog, I'll put the links there, or on Facebook. So there will you will be able to find the close-up somehow <laughs> um and so you can just look at the close-up now the other thing about knitting is when i learnt to knit i just learnt the way that the person showing me did it the thing is with the internet is there are many different ways to learn to knit which i didn't know about when i started and i've said this in other videos that could be great if the way that you've been taught isn't quite gelling with you and then you find another way and it does gel but it can also be really overwhelming when you're beginning to see that there are so many different ways to learn to knit now i'm going to show you on a circular but you can equally do this on straight because i'm going backwards and forwards so you, i'm not treating a circular as a circular knitting needle the other thing as well is some people hold the needle under their arm if it's a straight needle um i don't i hold it like this obviously more comfortable down here but you can't see it um and i hold the needles like this some people hold the needles like a pen like this some people do that side and that side um so again usually when i teach people in real life i look to see how they are doing it and then adjust but here i'm going to be showing you how i do it the other thing that I do is that I pick up and take the knitting around the needle like this. Now, I didn't know there was other ways of doing it when I learned again. And apparently that's called I throwing the, I throw the yarn. Um, and I didn't know that until the internet told me. And, but I think sometimes that's the thing. We put a lot of words on what we do. Whereas knitting throughout the ages, you probably just saw what someone else was doing and did it. And you didn't think to give it a name or anything like that maybe we need to name things nowadays because we're searching on google rather than just 
go to someone and say, can you just show me how to do that thing again? You know, with the needles. <laughs> so the knit stitch is similar to the cast on. Um, but instead of going between the two stitches, we go into the stitch. We want to create a stitch on a stitch. So we want to go into the stitch. Now, the first thing I should say is at the beginning of the round row, at the beginning of the row, make sure that your yarn is down like that and not up like that. So down and back. You then take your knitting needle and you go into the stitch. So we are going left to right. We're going into the stitch at the front. We then take the yarn and I put this round my little finger because that's controlling the tension. So it goes round, so it's in the palm, goes back behind the little finger and then those three fingers go down on it. That's controlling the tension. Like I said, if I was looking, watching you in real life, you don't, I don't make people do this in my lessons. I look to see how they're doing it. But, and if they're struggling a bit, I then um, suggest to do that because it just holds, holds the yarn in place in some way. Because I then take that round my fingers like that and put my index finger underneath the yarn to take it round the needle. And by holding onto the needle and holding all that like that, the yarn, like that it means that it's already there it's already there on the needle so I can just pull it through so I take it round hold the needle down into the needle round the back of the needle hold down onto the needle and then I just rock it over I give it a little pull to make this stitch bigger on there and then drop it off. So basically I'm transferring these stitches onto this needle and going stitch by stitch. Now where it can sometimes get a bit tricky is taking this around and if it's not taut, if it's round like that, it's difficult sometimes to catch it and we don't want to be doing this we want to rock it over so it's just like a nice rocking motion over the top of your needles and then it's just taking it nice and slowly so yarn so obviously you're seeing it this way um and then if you do the close-up um you'll be able to see it a bit better but Basically, the yarn goes around the back of the needle. So, oh, can I do it that way? Back of the needle. No, I can't. <laughs> so, you got, the yarn goes around the back of the needle, then over the front, and then you're catching it and pulling it through that loop. So, that's what we want to do. Pull it through that loop. And then you just go all the way along. So you're taking it through, you're making that stitch, it's going onto this needle, so to your right hand needle, and then the stitch that's on your left needle comes off because they're all um, going on top of each other. So round the back of the needle and to the front, and then you've caught it in the little groove there, and then pull it through this stitch, take that stitch off. Into the needle, round the back, catch it into the groove, into the groove. So that's going around the front of the needle, it's there, and then you just pull it through that stitch. So round the back, holding it all down like that, off. And there you've got your row. Where is my thing? Don't worry about what it looks like at the side. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about what it looks like. So it's this is not the first time I've knitted. <laughs> so your knitting might not look like that. It might look like that. Fabulous. Um, but don't worry about what it looks like. Just keep practicing the technique. 